Charanana Gundoso. Any luck on get Excellent. Really? You must have been fa Just in time. Terena told me you've been searching for her friend. Well, I'm gonna have to ask you to put that on hold for now, as I've been telling Terena. I've just received solid proof that the mercenaries are planning to annihilate Kunda. We need your help. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Here is a Mastercard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. We've been told to provide you with anything you need.
Charanana Gundoso or Charanana Gund Terewana.
Are you ready? I won't wait long for you. You heard the Jedi. Move out, men. Come on, Jedi. You're leading the first wave. I should have stopped you long ago. Your machinations end here, outcast. No more words. Defend yourself or perish. It is something the Sith, the assassins that stalk us, can do. It is of the dark side. The ability to feed on life, the Force. The closer one comes to it, it makes them stronger for a time. Not all techniques in the Force are learned through practice and training. This is something instinctual, born from experience. It is a way that they fill the hollow places where the Force used to be. You should have let him live. He would have fetched a fine price on Nar Shaddaa. Kunda is ours, thanks in part to your assistance. Here, take your reward, Jedi. I'm already giving you more than you deserve. Take it and go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with the Administrator, and I'm dressed to kill. The Republic won't stand for what you've done here. You'll pay for your crimes. I was going to make it a painless death, but you've been much more difficult than you had to be. Now you're going to pay. Business is concluded, Jedi.
Greetings, Jedi. May I... My memory, Panks. You are on the register as one of the Jedi who left the Enclave. To... You had no... Beginning playback. Error. Recording partially corrupted. Resolving. Today I caught her in a heated argument with my Padawan. Her master refuses to properly discipline. I want to know what action you intend. Luke, I respect your wisdom, but it is not your concern. But uncontrolled. Whatever the other Padawans see her do, they are quick to do the same. Other students dislike her intensely. True. An average student of the Force, but with a unique strength, is a natural leader. I strongly disagree. Mediocre Jedi, lust for power, will lead to the dark side. Furthermore, it... Recording degraded. End playback. May I be of any further service to you? If you will excuse me, I must continue. Greetings, Jeff. May I? The uh... If you... we travel to, the more questions I have. It's not just the hardships of the people, but something more. Sometimes I wonder if you are right, but at other times, I feel there is something more at work here. Yes, these dead worlds, they, well, they have a pattern to them. They were all touched by the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War. But sometimes, well, I feel as if they are all connected in some other way. The attacks on Qatar, Telos itself, the decay on Dantooine. Something is wrong with life. The connections have been damaged, sickened. Sometimes I feel like I almost understand and then it just slips away. So close. Perhaps. Dantooine is only one of the worlds. It was only the start of the journey. I would like to study the other locations. It is curious that the Jedi Masters chose those worlds to travel to. I wonder if the two are linked. I know not how. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. 
Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. You deserve nothing, but you have earned such obedience, yes. They are tools, you are right. More than you know. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. I, I am but a mirror whose only purpose is to show you what your own eyes cannot yet see. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool to motivate others. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Ask. That crystal is bonded to you, through you. Let me focus on the crystal for a... There, now it is full. Is there something else you... She did nothing to your eye. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods... Close your... Feel this ship around you. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Now stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice, the breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. Yes, General. Just working on the ship. I'm not... Whoever made... My life for you. I... felt you. Heard you through the Force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. I serve my master. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force. There is little my master does not know. And that you... You cannot. His vessel roamed even if I could lead you to my master. If I bring you before my master, it would be as if... 
It is a choice that can be made by neither one of Do not be so quick to meet that which you do not understand. Yes, is something wrong? At times, I meditate, simply close my eyes and listen. It is quite calming. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the next. Very well. I imagine it. I don't know what that witch did to you, but she's dragging you down into whatever hole she came out of. I'm only saying this because there's still a chance for you to stop this before whatever darkness she brought on you eats you alive. All right, I tried, but whatever's consuming you, it's affecting everyone else. You may be strong enough to handle it, but the others may not. All right, what did you want to know? All right, but I'm out of credits, so... Something up? All right. 